Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Everybody on screen, thank you. Thanks for joining us for this very special event, Unite for America! And that's exactly what we're doing live tonight, uniting from Farmington Hills in Oakland County, Michigan. We have 400 people in our audience and thousands more. Hello, all of you on screen. Hello, everybody on screen. Thousands more joining us on screen. Uh, and I am here because I care deeply about the future of our country. And I know that all of you do too. You care about the future of our country. And we just saw on this tape this grassroots, people-powered movement behind Kamala Harris has unleashed a unifying force, unlike anything we've seen in politics in a very thing, because it means that there is a real feeling of optimism and hope, making that comeback, as Michelle Obama said, uh, for this new day that's no longer on the horizon. The new day is actually here. We're in it. We're living it. So let me tell you how this event began. I was on the phone with Joteka Edi, founder of Women Win with Black Women. We're going to be talking to her a little later on. And we were talking about all the groups inspired by Win with Black Women who had 47,000 women on one call three hours after Kamala Harris announced that she was going to be running. Three hours afterwards, 47,000 women were on the phone. And Jorteka and I were talking, wouldn't it be great if we brought all the groups together because that phone call inspired all the other groups. And so we said, wouldn't it be great if we brought all the groups together at one time? And that's why we're here. So we have the cat ladies for Kamala here. <laughs> Rural Americans for Harris. Caregivers for Kamala. Train lovers for Harris Waltz. I didn't know there were train lovers. <laughs> Train lovers, chefs for Kamala, love that group. Republicans for Harris, love that group even more. We've got Swifties, where are you? Swifties for Kamala! And in addition to thousands of you all who I am just meeting here tonight on screen, I see some faces I recognize. There's Brian Cranston! Hey, Brian. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Where are you? Brian Cranston. I hear Chris Rock is in the house. Chris, where are you? Chris Rock is in the house. Ben Stiller, Jennifer Lopez, Tracy Ellis hey, Ross. Jennifer Lopez. Are you Jennifer? Yes! Tracy Ellis Ross, where are you? Tracy Ellis, where are you on the screen? Tracy Ellis. Julia Roberts, where are you? And Miss Meryl Streep is in the house. So glad to have all of you familiar faces and those of you who are not yet familiar to all of us. Okay, Brian, so happy to have you here tonight. Brian Cranston, what do you want to say? Why did you want to join us here tonight? I'm just smiling from ear to ear, Oprah. I have never felt this much joy and optimism in a campaign in a long time. So I, I'm just uh, so appreciative of Kamala to be able to bring back that sense of optimism and and to squash the cynicism and the and the and the vitriol and the rancor that that just seems to be floating all around Washington, and I hope that at, that we're going to ride this wave into Washington. I'm here. I'm here to support. I can't be happier than this uh, candidate. Uh, I I think she's going to be a terrific president. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. So. 
Thanks, Brian. Thank you so much for joining us all the way from London. Uh, Chris Rock, so it's the middle of the night there. You're the one who told me, remember, Chris and I ran into each other <laughs> this summer, and Chris, no matter where you meet him, he's funny. He's go, he goes, there's going to be weeping in the streets. <laughs> Are we ready for the weeping in the streets? When Kamala Harris becomes president of the United States of America. Weeping in the streets. What do you want to say, sir? Um, I, I, I've always been a, a fan of Kamala, even back when she was uh, running for... I, I remember writing her a check when she was like the district attorney for something. Maybe it was to get out of a parking ticket or something. But I've, I've been writing her checks for a long time. And I just want to, I want to bring my daughters to the White House to meet this black woman president. Uh, that's a reason. That's a reason. That's a reason. I think she... I think she would make a great president. And I just, I, I'm ready to turn the page, man. Yeah. All the, the hate, the negativity, it, it's got to stop. Yeah, we're so sick of the negativity. Thank you so much, Chris, for being up this early in the morning in London. Thank you. Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller, I heard you were on the comics for Kamala. And that. And so I want to know, were all the comics for Kamala trying to outdo each other with jokes for Kamala when you were on for comics for Kamala? They were, and I, I didn't outdo anyone. I was probably the least fun of all the comics. Um, but it was, it was really, I mean, it was great, though, because everybody was so energized. And, I mean, I got to go to the, the convention and, and, see, uh, and see her speech, which was just incredible. And feeling that energy, uh, you know, feeling kind of going from um, uh, a stop Trump mode into a go Kamala mode, the people starting to, you know, yeah. really hear what she's yeah. about. And, um, you know, I have a, I have a 22 year old daughter, 19 year old son is going to be voting in his first election. My daughter's, you know, her reproductive rights are incredibly important. Um, you know, uh, standing up for. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. And I think. Standing up for. Yeah. 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 I think, I think what Chris said, we're ready to turn the page. Thank you, Ben. Ben Siller. So. We are all together, united for one cause, and that is to get out the vote for Kamala Harris.